Tonight, we're digging into a new effort to tackle the opioid crisis in San Diego County. County leaders are ready to spend tens of millions of dollars. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez breaks down the new plan as we learn today of another major fentanyl bust here in Southern California. Nationwide drug overdose deaths are up year over year. More than 900 San Diegans lost their lives last year. Now local county supervisors are unveiling new details about a push to address the opioid crisis. In my district's most impacted by this. Uh, you've heard that rural communities, tribal communities, uh, are at the tip of the iceberg. Supervisor Joel Anderson well. and Chair Nathan Fletcher are working together. A piece of the plan includes sending wellness advocates to hospitals to meet someone who is overdosed. At the moment someone has survived an overdose, you may have the best opportunity you'll ever get to engage them and talk to them about treatment options. The county will also launch a drug disposal program. You can mail every household in San Diego a drug disposal bag. You open the bag, you pour whatever pharmaceutical prescription drugs you have in it, you add some water and you throw it in the trash. A moment where we could clean the shelves throughout San Diego County. There is also a major focus on local schools. Students will learn about prevention and more Narcan will be distributed to local campuses. We did have a situation with an unresponsive student that um, we're grateful turned out okay. San Diego Unified has had Narcan protocols and drug education in place for years. It plans to act as a model for other districts. It's really important that every parent understand that fentanyl can be in any street drug. Just this Monday, $500,000 worth of fentanyl was seized by San Diego Border Patrol agents near Barstow. All of this will be funded with money from opioid lawsuit settlements. The county believes it will receive up to $100 million, with some of that money arriving by the end of this year. The Board of Supervisors is being asked to approve this plan next Tuesday. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8.